Welcome to the place where we're not dreaming. Uh, <laughs> Tuesday, November 27th in my advanced class, and we're going to start talking about outsiders here in a moment. Before that, let's see, book report due three weeks from tomorrow, and let's see, bell work. You have three sentences we're going to be doing. Uh, my friend is going to the monkey movie or the camel one. My family will go to the theater and have fun, and then after the show, we will eat some pickles. I also handed out your guys' hiccup. Better. I handed out your guys' poetry tests. Um, if you don't like your poetry tests, you're more than welcome to do the poetry test corrections. They are on my website. Clicky, clicky, answer, answer, do those, and you should be good to go. Now, for our actual one from here, so if you're doing the home version, I mean, you could cheat and then just like write it down as we go through and do it, but I'm pretty sure if you're at home, you're an honest, good kid, so you're going to go ahead and hit the pause button right there and then go ahead and do it all, and then come back to make sure your answers are correct, and that way we make sure learning happens. But we'll find out in a moment. All right. Harvey, you said you wanted to volunteer. Uh, which one did you want to do? First. first one it is. Go ahead and step up. Is this plastic? Yes, but you're going to have to crush it first. Take the lid off. You can. Uh, you can. Give and actually, pocket. give me the lid so the French teacher would punch them for some reason. Um, put that on my desk, not in my pocket. French teachers are weird. I know. And then drink the last little dribbles out of the bottom of it. Good job. That wasn't awkward. And then you're going to put it on the ground sideways and then crush it. Good job. And then stomp on it. Really jump on it. That's that was good. a nice crunch. And then once it's crunched, then you can put it in there. That's good enough. My friend is going to the monkey movie or the camel one. So you're allowed to have one mistake. The second one is what ruins the monkey treat for you. I wish you the best of luck. My! Um, adjective? Okay. Friend? Adjective. Apparently they disagree. Why, Navi? Why? Because a friend is a thing, or a person. A person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, they're like things, but she is up to you. Noun. That's correct. Ooh. Is. Adjective. What'd you say? Adjective. Adjective. Uh, Mika. It's a verb. Any reasoning behind it, or just? It's just uh, like if you go back like to the. Magic lens notes. Uh huh. It says that is is a boring verb, a linking verb. <coughs> it's up to you though. Oh. Verb. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Going. Verb. Hey, you got one on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Preposition. That's your fire now. <laughs> Monkey. No. Zoom tight. Oh, <laughs> that's where you're ready to sneeze. Now, to Cotton? I, I said adjective. Why? Because I, I said adjective because I said it. <laughs> Not as convincing as you might think. <laughs> Greg, Greg, Greg? Oh, that's so weird. Okay. <laughs> um, because it's like describing the type of movie, so it's an adjective. At least that's a better explanation. I like mine more. Really I mean, so not to attack. Not. You're like saying it's not. But Harvey, you go with what you want again. Adjective. <laughs> Can you say not adjective? It's a noun. He says noun. This is so stupid. Monkey is a person. Monkey is a person. It's correct. And movie? No. Correct. Or? Conjunction. <laughs> Camel? No. Oh, no. Adjective. All on your own, almost. One. No. Not bad. Now you do the subject of the sentence. What is doing the action? Friend. Correct. And is, is, is action or boring? Is, is action or boring? Is, is an action oh. or boring? Boring? Are you asking me? Are you... Boring. And going? Is going what? Action or board. <laughs> oh, action. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> that was a fail on my part. Do you have a um, See me at the end. I'll have to look up and see if I have one. I have none in my pocket. My kid took one last period. Okay, we're one. done now. Two! No! Decodden? Have you not done one yet? No. Write down Decodden's name right up next to Herbie. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're writing names. Well, that way we keep track of who did it. I thought that's what you were. Okay. Yes, by you, <laughs> you mean job. you. My job's yeah, teaching. Right. Right. My family will go to the theater and have. Wait. 
Monkey treat. And have fun. <laughs> My adjective family noun will verb go verb to proposition theater noun and conjunction have verb fun adjective what? <laughs> no. No. Yeah? What? No. What? No. Uh, no. Wait, what? Two and small. She's arguing with herself. Okay. <laughs> um, it's now because there's supposed to be three nouns, and yeah. <laughs> That's the reason. Wait, hold on. Just a second. Hold on. I get the good reason. So it's a noun, I guess. Is that what you want to go with? Is your I, answer? I guess. I need more strength than that. Sure, noun. <laughs> <laughs> You did so well I know, in the whole thing. So mad. And you fell um, apart the very. Oh, uh, so then, then, yes. uh, oh, I know, I wasn't paying attention to that. What is our uh, subject in the sentence? Family. Are you asking me or telling me? Telling you? Are you asking me if you're telling me? <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, scary, but all right, good job. <laughs> and will, action or boring? Action. Are you telling me or asking me? <laughs> action. Action. Are you raising your Yes, but you, not for this. That's nice, very good. Jeremiah, are you covering your ears? Yes. Are you saying it's not action? I say it's boring. Yeah, Why? Wait, which one are we going to Will. It says boring in the magic But, uh, okay, so maybe it's an action. What do I do? Tick. Tick. No, 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 no. Tick. What? Hold on. Tick. But my arm is something. Tick. What's your answer? This is so stressful. I know, Boy, but choose quickly. Water. Pressure no. now. Oh, action. Boring. 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 Boring action. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't pick. It's boring. Oh, it's right there, straight from the list. Oh my god! And yeah. is our rose <laughs> word has has. Hey, you're not done yet. We still have another chance to lose your monkey treat. Go. Is. Action. You seem a bit more confident than that one, at least. <laughs> and one more. Have. Oh, didn't even... Wait, there's another one? Have? Yeah. It was is... tricky of me, you know, putting it the same color as all the other verbs oh. right there. <laughs> and then putting three verbs right up. I apologize, not me. Hold on. To call them, did I buy you enough time sassing children? Hold on. Hold on. Um, oh, sweetheart. Why did I not take it? Yeah, it is. Um, and. Action. Your. Those are the two answers. Pick one. Is that your answer? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it was. I don't even know. Once again, lost your monkey treats. It was. It's boring. It's once again straight from the list of the and is are has have had. Yeah, it is. It's right there because I never did it. Oh, I just put that one down. Well, that sounds like a choice to make. Should probably do that now. Kicks! Oh, wait, what? Now we have volunteers. I've been raising my hand. She's already done, done it. it. She has already done it. Kicks! What kind of horrible child would you be? Yes, Tybo, you may. <laughs> then, Navi, are you also lying to me or do you not do it? I don't know why I haven't done it. Yeah, you know, Navi didn't want to do it again. I remember. Oh, oh. Okay. Wing? Okay. Are you lying to me? No, I swear. I swear. After the show, <laughs> we will eat some pickles. Okay. Ready? Yes. Me too. After? Preposition. Oh. Show? Uh, <coughs> noun. We? Pronoun. Are you asking me? No. What's the answer? <laughs> Pronoun. <laughs> Correct. Oh will? Um, verb. Eat? Verb. Are you asking me? Verb. One more time. <laughs> Verb. Verb. <laughs> Some. Oh my. Adjective. Pickles. Noun. Good job. And, and now what is I our right, what? subject? <laughs> the show. 
Are you asking me? <laughs> so, what is doing the action in oh, the pickles. sentence? Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Who is eating the pickles? We. Good job. So that was your subject. You still have one more chance to decode your point. I mean, to get rid of the last part. And will. Is it action or boring? Boring. Literally, right there. Would you, would you go with? Weird. It's almost like it was right there. And then eat. Action. Well, the struggle was strong. I get all of that for that. Who even am I? Why did I get that one? What's important is that it's not like it gets to live forever on video. I will leave that up there for a moment in case you're still trying to write down your corrections. While we live with our shame for a second, I have books I'm going to be tossing out to you. Yay! Wait, throwing books? That's not safe. You almost had to say you were doing it. I feel bad accepting the part where you lie to me. Thank you. 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 Thank
Nope. It, when I tell you, that's when it becomes homework. And you'll know it because I'll say the words, now you have homework of reading chapter 1, which will not be homework of chapter 1. When we get into it in a moment, it's said in the 1950s and 60s, uh, which is way back, like three dinosaur times. For the most part, you won't know, except for some of their cultural pop culture reference things. Like they're going to mention an actor named Paul Newman, which nowadays you're like, I have no idea who that is. This is who he is, what he looks like. So the moment they get to him, you can see a picture of him. You technically know him. He's no longer alive because dinosaur times. But you'll know him from this role. In Cars, that's who he was. He was the oh, voice no. of the old one that gave all the good advice to the Flash and stuff like that. He died. And, you didn't know that. and so that's why that car is not in the second Cars movie, because the thing happened between Cars 1 and Cars 2 called Death. And so that's what really slowed down his acting. Uh, also, some of you who like um, spaghetti sauce, or if you ever have salad dressing, he created his <laughs> own salad dressing slash spaghetti sauce called Newman's Own. And so anytime you go to the grocery store, you'll find stuff called Newman's Own. He created this brand and then donated all the money to charity. So a lot of grandparents know him because they'll eat that same stuff. It's more expensive and fancier, but it's also supposed to be good. I don't know. I'm a teacher. I don't eat fancy things. My kids eat gravel. All right. Chapter one. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things in my mind, Paul Newman and a ride home. Now, I was wishing I looked like Paul Newman. He looks tough. I don't. But I guess my own looks aren't so bad. I have light brown, almost red hair and greenish gray eyes. I wish they were more gray, because I hate most guys that have green eyes. But I have to be content with what I have. My hair is longer than a lot of boys wear theirs. It's squared off in the back and long at the front and sides, but I'm a greaser, and most of my neighborhood rarely bothers to get a haircut. Besides, I look better with long hair. I had a long walk home, and no company, but I usually loan it anyway, for no reason except that I like to watch movies undisturbed, so I can get into them and live them with the actors. When I see a movie with someone, it's kind of uncomfortable. Like... Having someone read a book over your shoulder. I'm different that way. I mean, my second oldest brother, Soda, who is 16 going on 17, he never cracks a book at all. And my oldest brother, Daryl, who we call Derry, works too long and hard to be interested in a story or drawing a picture. So I'm not like them. And nobody in our gang digs movies and books the way I do. For a while there, I thought I was the only person in the world that did. So I loaned it. Uh, two things I highlighted in there. One, the digging books and movies. I highlighted that and actually put me, because growing up I was one of my only friends that read. Uh, and the part that says, never cracks a book at all, that was my best friend, uh, Eric, uh, who said uh, he refused to read books. He said if a book was good enough to read, they'd turn it into a movie, and then he'd watch it. Uh, drove me nuts. He's now a teacher. Uh, 